Hey there everybody, Wayne D here. And we're looking at last week's winner, Kevin Kisner. Now, Kevin turned pro in 2006, so he's been out and about for a while. And he didn't achieve great success immediately. But he's built a mechanically sound swing, and when he makes some putts, like he did last week, he dominated the field, one by six. So I'm just going to go over some swings and tell you why he's so good. Didn't get any really good face-on pictures here, but uh, I think we can see some stuff from these face-on views that's interesting. Let's go to the let's go to the down the line first and watch. There's a couple of things that uh, I really like about the swing, and one is the standard looking setup. Nothing odd about it. Not a ton of knee flex. Pretty erect. The takeaway is pretty much what everybody would like. It's right up the line, so right on plane. Can't go wrong when you build your swing with a good start to it. It's a good picture. So you can pretty much see it's got the club a little bit lower than belt high. And he takes it right up the right up the plane there. So if you look at the right arm, you'll see pretty relaxed at a dress. It'll bend a little bit as the left arm comes into the chest. And the right arm will stop flaring about when the hands get above the waist. If you watch the right arm, it's going to stop short here a little bit. And if you watch my stuff, for most people that gets them into trouble. Kisner finishes his swing just right. Now you can see the, the face versus the back of the left hand, so the grip is fairly strong, and most people would call that face a fraction shut there. So if we watch the leg movement, now this camera's moving backwards, so it's not really obscuring the the lines in this down the line view. So if you watch the one of the big keys to his swing is his leg and foot action. So watch the watch the right leg as it deepens in the back swing. And when it moves it moves from the from the hip joint here. We're gonna start from the all forward movement, it's either going to lean or it's going to push. So there's a little push from the ground, activates the muscles in the right hip. And that right hip is going to twist so that along with the forward push from here, the right hip is twisting around. But the net result is that the leg never gets past its starting point right here as far as staying deep this guy knows how to stay deep so the evidence for that is the footwork so when he hits the ball you can see his left butt cheek is past the line his right leg is inside everything look at that look at that footwork Now you will see that in the back swing you'll just see a touch of lowering as the right hip deepens. In the forward swing you'll just see a little bit more, but watch as he hits it as that right leg stays inward. Look how much space he's got for that right arm now, right? And 
you can also see how the left wrist has turned down to square the face. Now, he's hit the ball, watch the head. So he's got that arm in front of him, he likes to extend it past the ball, but look at that right heel stay down. When that right heel stays down like that, you know, the head's kind of drop a little bit at the end after impact. I really like the full unwinding of the left side. Take a look at that left forearm. And we look at this angle here. So what we get is the anti-hump shot. This is the opposite of the legs going up underneath. Also see that his left knee doesn't disappear until right about here. It's a little bit later than most, but his right leg is so deep that as he hits the ball, the left leg can really just pull behind him and make room for that finish. Very nice. He's 5'10 and weighs 165 pounds according to PGA Tour dot com and as you can see, he puts a good aggressive strike on it. So when you're when you're only that big, you're gonna have to swing away. No holding back. Here's a driver swing. So again, we see relatively. Again, camera angle's goofy, but you can tell that there's not a lot of knee bend with the driver. Fairly erect posture. Hovers the club a little bit. Gets that good takeaway. Now, trigger-wise, watch the right knee. See that little kick? So there's a trigger that doesn't disrupt any of the upper body movement. The upper body can move back cleanly. So again, the right arm will, will stay inward a little bit, but do a nice job of staying in front and not attempting to get more height and depth late in the backswing, which is really the problem with having that arm in early like this. But he does it perfect, and that sets the arm up to come in real nicely. So combine that right arm position with that right leg movement, and look at that space he's got. So even with the driver, he's hammered a draw out there. Look at that left, right heel is almost dead on the ground. Now you, there's enough lateral movement here to, to roll the feet. You can see both at the outside, underside of the right and the inside of the left. But that first move down is from the insides of the legs. So as far as the hand path goes, what am I looked at? It's down, the, yeah, this is more down the line. Pretty much just goes down the same way it comes back. Pretty simple. And once again, you can see the right leg driving from inside itself. The camera didn't really move very much, so if we put a line on the flag here, we can see that the line moved just a fraction left. And so we know that if we draw the hip box here, you know, it, it's pretty close to being correct. Now look how good that is. 
telling you, that's such a huge, such a huge factor in the golf swing. So, sound mechanics, great rhythm, aggressive, super aggressive through the ball. The, the ability to get that left leg to snap back is one of the ways that you can be aggressive through the ball and not knock yourself off balance. Let's take a look at, at a couple of these face-on swings here. So we can make some comments about how he sequences. So there's the there's the little right knee kick, and when you watch the, watch the left knee, it almost looks like it's kicking toward the target. So that's a hip restriction movement. So when he gets started right here, he'll move the club, and his hips will just delay. So the club's moved about maybe a foot before it, it starts to drag the hips around. You can see the left heel pretty much stays put. The right leg is just going back. The knees stay very flexed. Now this is a perfect picture for anybody that thinks the left leg initiates the downswing. Because it doesn't. Watch the, watch the right upper leg and watch the left upper leg. The left upper leg is doing absolutely nothing. It's not even moving. You can see the right hip is pushing forward. Now to me, you can't, you can't move this thing in this direction unless you use the ground. So in other words, you can't you can't keep the upper going backwards and staying back here and move the lower forward without pushing from down down here because otherwise you would be leaning the upper body over and you'd see movement there. So when you see movement in the right leg while the left leg is still sitting there, you you know the left leg is not starting the downswing. So the left knee is not moving first, for sure. Now, as soon as you get that going, so any movement at all, when you get a little bit of lateral from here to there, the left leg, all the muscles in the left leg are now activated. Now, the first batch of muscles that you're going to use are the ones that are on the inside of the left leg. And what they're going to help do, the right leg inside muscles here are already being used. They've braced in and now you're pushing and they're helping to twist and drive the leg. But those left leg inner muscles are going are gonna to rotate the leg back. And when enough weight gets to the middle of the foot, when the knee gets over the foot here, then all the muscles on the outside of the leg can snap the leg backwards. Now, watch how much overall lateral movement there is here. Now, obviously, it's not dead face on, but you can see the amount of movement there. And just watch the footwork. So this is for people that don't think you need to slide your hips when you hit a golf ball. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Try that. So we see that sequence. We see the right side. Of the, on the ground moving. You see it catch the midsection. You can separate from, here's the lat muscle here. So he's going to move this stuff like that. You can see the lat stays big and stretched here. And then it starts to move. And when it moves, you can see it. it it's like it gets bigger like that and that pulls the left arm 
see the right arm's got tons of space. And the glutes continue to drive together and push up and left all the way to the finish. So here you see the evidence that the left leg is just backing up and trying to get out of the way, just like Hogan talked about. Right leg pushes forward parallel to the target. The left leg is always trying to snap back. So you're trying to set the swing up so the left leg has a chance to get itself out of the way. And again, just look at that footwork. That is not easy to do. All right, there's Kevin Kisner. Pretty obvious why he hits the ball nicely. And since he putted great last week, that's a great combination. All right, Wayne D.